Well, here we are at the Adventist tonight. And uh, I'm on the setting D1. Um, I'm going to turn up a little bit. There's a the red, brown bow, central. One silencer, 10 o'clock on the disc rim, which is the red band on the inside, which relates to the D1. And what I normally do is check for iron signals, I'll just flip it into iron. And if it's a bigger signal, then you go back to the signal you had, you're pretty sure that it's iron there. But otherwise, uh, yeah, that's it. And anyway, here we go, second signal again. And uh, I just found a rose farthing just now. And down here, I think I've got another rose farthing. It's a small item, could be another button again. I had a button earlier on that's fooled me. I thought I'd put the clip in just to show you it. Don't get over excited about these things. We'll do. But anyway, there's the little rose five in there, look. Or the little whatever it is. Oh, nothing on the back, no knob. That's it. Give it a little tiny. Shouldn't do that, it shouldn't rub them, I know. And uh, I've got to pull it to the side now because I can't. Oh, it feels too fat for a rose five then. I can't really see a lot through the cap, through the actual phone. Oh, it is. It looks like a rose five, wouldn't it? Let me pull it to the side. Oh, well, well, well. Oh, I think I see a porcupine skate. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, look at that. I'm not going to rub it too much, but you can see the, just see. There you go, the little porcupine there. And there it is. Nice little skate nestled in the earth there. Oh. Well, well, well. That is a fantastic turn up. Oh, I'm so chuffed with that. What a funny old evening. I've come out at 5 o'clock. I've been here now about 10 minutes, 15, 15 minutes now. Just I found a rose at a button, which I thought was a coin, had a rose farthing. And that I thought was a rose farthing. I dug it up, I showed you it, and it's turned out to be a nice and little skin. I wonder how that's going to be, how nice that will be when it cleans up. Oh, brilliant. You don't find these very often skates. You really don't. No. I don't think it's debased this one, I think it looks like it might well be a very good one. Um, it's going to need a good clean. You can just there you go. Look, there's a little bit of silver in left on it. Oh, I love that. I've had one of those for donkey's years. I had a small double ended strap end with a line on either end once. But that's lovely. That oh, nice. There you go. Another Georgian item. Oh, early Victorian. Brilliant. Right. Let's see if I get anything else on the way back to the car. Mm -hmm. Thank you. About making the video for this, I've cleaned a lot of the um, a lot of the dirt off it. But there is a nice little fake bullhead shilling. That's pretty. That is. I don't care what the coins were. They're fake or well, it's a contemporary fake anyway. But yeah, it looks attractive. Lovely little coin. That I really like that pleased with it. Well, you're not finding a lot as well and something like that comes up that's really good. There you go. Using the XP 
dais, there's the hole, probably about six inches down, nice, 1817, date was on it there, 18, could just see the date there, 1817. Oh sweet, it's the same area I found at the um, Bullhead, Bullhead Sixpence, but which was, I'm pretty sure is silver. Even though it also could be a, a, a fake or a silver coated bronze coin. Anyway, lovely. On to the next.